Hello, this is Ron Press from Tessent Silicon Lifecycle Solutions. I'm going to talk to you about a new capability that I think is going to be interesting for many of you, especially if you struggle to pick the best patterns to apply in production, if you're truncating patterns, or you need to mix in some new patterns. And this capability, I think you'll find, is going to be very useful for you. It's critical area weighted pattern optimization. So if you go to mentor.com and just search Tessent and critical area, you'll find a detailed technical paper about this capability. It's released in the tools already. Um, it's in the tools, we call it total critical area um, simulation and pattern ordering. There's also a webinar we had on this technology and this ability, and that's also available on the mentor.com if you search Tessent and critical area. This is just going to give you a really quick look at roughly what this capability is. So one thing we know, some of the new defect-oriented fault models, we, we also call these uh, automotive grade ATPG, the very high quality test. We've seen these fault models have important unique detection. So the question is always, how much do I mix in these new fault models and what's the best mix of my existing fault models and these new fault models. And if we look at traditional ATPG, the way we did our, our metrics and our sorting and ordering was based on the number of faults detected. So we treated every fault as equal. So what we're doing now is we're looking at critical area. And critical area is a way we can assess what's the likelihood of a particle or a physical defect um, the likelihood of it causing the product not to operate correctly. So now if we use critical area, then we can look at the faults detected by one pattern compared to another, and we can weight and sort those patterns based on the likelihood of those defects occurring. So now this lets us choose the most effective patterns to use from multiple pattern sets. We can order the patterns by the most effective first, not just by the number of faults detected, but the likelihood of those defects occurring. And if you have a, a new fault model you want to try in production, here's a way you can pick a small sample that are likely the most effective. And, and the last thing that's really important, so you can take multiple fault models and multiple patterns and sort them. What we can also do now is you can define multiple fault models and create a new pattern set from scratch with multiple fault models in one ATPG run. So instead of doing, let's say, a stuck at run, grading it for bridge, doing a top up run for bridge, and so forth, you can define all these fault models together and create the one run. So I mentioned these defect oriented fault models and automotive grade ATPG. Uh, we've seen important unique detection in industry with uh, some of the, the leading companies that you're familiar with, they have uh, great silicon results that they've reported on. So now the question is, are these patterns important for you? How do you mix them in? How do you merge them in? And that's what we can do with this um, critical area weighted uh, pattern optimization. So what we'll do, this is a excerpt from what we show in our product update. We'll read in the fault models. And in the technical paper, we just describe how you, how you create these um, this modeling, but we read in the fault models, we can read in existing patterns, even if they had nothing to do with this critical area of fault models when you created them. Read in your existing patterns, read in the fault models, we simulate, and then you can order your patterns and sort them based on the critical area. So as I mentioned, now we can we could do as I showed. You can read in the patterns, or you can just read the fault models and create a new pattern set from scratch. And when you do that and create one pattern set without having to do a, a top-up run and so forth, we've seen 10 to 40% smaller pattern sets. And in this chart, we show an industrial design where we created the patterns as one shot, ATPG, and then we order the patterns and sort them based on um, highest total critical area, TCA, total critical area to least. And now if I have to truncate my patterns, 
I'm truncating patterns with the least value, not just based on the number of faults, but based on the likelihood of those defects occurring. So I think you'll find this, this new capability uh, pretty interesting, especially if you need to truncate patterns or mix in different types of patterns. Now it's an apples to apples analysis based on critical area to merge your patterns together and sort them, order them, and truncate. So check out more on the mentor.com page and, and you'll find it under Tessent and Critical Area. Thank you.